Well, here we are in Paul's second missionary journey. He's rounding the bend and headed towards home. Uh, it says it came to Ephesus, and there he left some of his uh, co-workers, but that he was reasoning in the synagogue with the Jews. And they asked him to stay for a little longer time, but he did not consent. Uh, there's always a time to stay and a time to go, and God's timing is always perfect, but he did promise that if God was willing, he would return again. He set sail for Ephesus. And there on his way to Ephesus, it says, having spent some time there, he left and passed successfully through the Galatian region and Phrygia, strengthening all of the disciples. Now, I want to stop there for a second as well and say, it is absolutely necessary that we remember the Great Commission includes not only salvation or evangelism, but it includes discipleship. And uh, there in the Great Commission, he tells us to make disciples. And that's not just getting them saved, that's strengthening them and teaching them the word of God. And then in verse 24 through 28, it says, Now a Jew named Apollos, an Alexandrian by birth, an eloquent man, came to Ephesus, and that he might uh, speak there. And when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they gave him and took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. Now what does that say to you? It says that Apollos' doctrine was not exactly perfect. It doesn't say he was preaching heresy. doesn't say that he was preaching totally wrong, uh, but that he could do better in his interpretation of the scriptures. And I just think that it's very important for all of us to realize that we can all be learning and that we can all learn from each other. And it doesn't look like Apollos was arguing with Priscilla and Aquila but rather was listening to them because it says after they explained to him the way of God more accurately, he wanted to go to Acacia and uh, the brethren encouraged him and wrote the disciples there to welcome him. So obviously he was now ready to do even more effectively what he had been setting out to do. And it says in verse 28, for he powerfully refuted the Jews in public demonstrating demonstrating by the scriptures that Jesus was the Christ. And uh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's all about the fact that Jesus was God in the flesh, that he died for us as we just worshiped on Sunday with the Easter celebration, and that he rose again to prove that he was God in the flesh, for no one else had been able to do that. And uh, he lives forevermore because he's an eternal God. So we need to understand in this particular section of scripture, the importance of knowing when to go and when to stay. We know you need to know the importance of being willing to take any correction that comes our way and to evaluate it according to the scriptures and not to become discouraged, but to continue on to the work that God's given to us. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.